Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi, and welcome back to some more of the Crew Motor Fest. The new update is out, the new update is in, and we are here with the Off Road Attic Volume 2 playlist now live, but at the same time, it also made the live summit off road themed as well called the Off Roader. Now, it's not our thing to do the summits unless it is special, say, YouTuber collaborations. Which is not what was happening today, because right now we're gonna be doing volume two of Off Road Attic. After the blunder that was Drift Experience Volume Two, I really hope they get their game together for this when we do this playlist. So profile says here. Get your wheels back in the dirt. Oh wow, still has a lot of uncharted terrain for you to explore. Jeeps, Land Rovers, KTMs, Hummers, the best off-road vehicles are at your disposal. Once again, as well as Pierce vocal notes to keep you company. Uh, and our host would be Pierce Off-Roader, but we only have audio logs. Okay, this is something unique. Normally, it would be someone hosting alongside you, but this one, an audio log. So what is this? Did, did Pierce die? I hope that's not the case because if it is, Ivory Tower just went to the dark side. I'm sure you've missed the thrill of off-road racing. Well, then you'll be happy to sign up for this new expedition. There are plenty of off-road sites you've yet to discover. So get your backpack. We're going deeper into off-road addiction under the careful curation of our home specialist Pierce, the off-roader himself. At least we're taking the highway route this time. To be fair, everybody did complain. Off-Road Attic Volume 1 had a lot of missed opportunities. Not even a showcase for the WRC cars, which is part of the off-road culture. Is it me or despite the understeer, this F1's performing way better than before? This is Off-Roading Attic Volume 2. The Motorfest series. The island still has a few secrets to unveil. You'll see. And I swear, all these updates are coming in left and right, not just in this game, but also in my real life situation. Wait, hold up. I knew it! It's actually right next to Drift Experience Volume 2. The, the, the hub, the HQ. They're just right next to each other. I remember back then, uh, Off-Road Attic Volume 2 is um, tournament based. Hopefully this one's different. Also, do you know why that Jeep Wrangler stuck out a lot to me? It's because I do believe it's one of the earlier cars you get to unlock in Forza Horizon 4 and 5. So I'm glad that uh, that they at Ivory Tower, they made their own touch of this. Okay, so no further introductions from Kara or Pierce upon unlocking the crate, unlocking the carrier. Okay, looks like we're all set. To the next objective. This playlist is taking a wildlife documentary approach. Okay. Pierce has already ventured out on all the trails you're about to discover. He scouts the field, marked out the paths, and chose the right vehicles. Ah, that's why it's... That's why they said it's documented. It's a documented conversation. It's not a conversation. It is a documentary. I just hope they didn't give me the impression that Pierce died. He's currently busy, so he's not going to be with you live. But he's been making voice logs during his journey and has shared them with you. 
Those recordings will be accompanying you for every event on this playlist. Okay, at least there's that. I hope it's very chatty or I'm gonna be bored the heck out! Bro! Hey, I'm seeing a player right there. Is he also going to the playlist too? I knew it. He is as well. He is as well. How well did Pierce gauge the adrenaline levels for this playlist? You be the judge driver. All right, first event, we're thrown into the Ivory Tower Falcon S. It is the prize card from Volume 1. Oh, hell no. no oh, no, no, it's another championship. Oh, my God. Why? Off-roading addict, volume two, entry one. Found this old tape recorder in the mess I call my boot. I mostly use it for shopping lists, but this has got to be a better use for it. Motorfest have sent me on a mission. It's all part of the new off-roading adventure. Here's the plan. I'm going on a solo trip around the island to find the best trails this land can provide. Oh my gosh, I'm buzzing. Oh my gosh, I'm it's cringe. Along the leeward coast east of the volcano. The view is bonkers. I can see all the way to the ocean. This route though, it's a real quagmire. Did you say quagmire or quagmire? Because if it's the latter, all I can hear right now is the sounds of giggity 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 goo. Oops. <laughs> I just killed the man in a motorcycle into the lake. I'm gonna suggest Motorfest uses that Falcon SSV. I really liked it last time. It's sturdy but agile. Perfect for adventurers getting ready for their first battle. But remind me again, why is this a tournament setup? Just why? When we're just gonna be going through all the trails you've done before, Pierce? Whose idea was it to make this a tournament? Bloody hell! Almost caught out by a downhill turn there! Anyone listening, you better be careful if you want to finish in one piece. Right! Got a great first route all set, so that's me done for today. I need a place for the night, and this beach will do nicely. Oh, okay. The first one's already done. It's looking like it'll get cold tonight. Maybe I'll have a look in these wrecks for an old bottle of something to keep me warm. Might get lucky. Okay, we just... Sorry for the crispy, I accidentally hit the mic. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Wait, Chuck and... No way, is that Chuck Norris? Good job, driver. New challenges lie ahead. Right, jumping over to the next one. Already. Oh no, it's at the peak of this thing. After setting up that nice SSV introduction, Pierce, during his little tour of the island, got to push the concept of going off-road to yet just another level. Define? So, so that he's decided to lend you his own special Land Rover Defender for this next event. You're going back in. You got the gist of it, right? As you progress on these tracks, you'll still be walking in Pierce's footsteps. So, I'll keep playing you his recordings. The adventure continues. But you have yet to explain to me why this is a tournament. Or better yet, no one's gonna explain to me at all. But we're gonna be in... The There's a Pierce Edition Land Rover Defender? Wait, did I just say Peacock Flats? Oh no! <laughs> Why are my streams from other games already invading my games? Pierce's log entry two woke up with quite a headache, but I managed to reach Peacock Flat and I'm ready to scout more terrain. Let's go for a dip. Excuse me? Shouldn't we be on a boat in this? They told me to find new paths. They never said they had to be on land, so down the river we go! Aren't we gonna drown? I'm riding the current like a Pacific salmon! 
Okay, now this is innovative, not gonna lie. Got a couple of them fish stuck on my back seat. Hang on, guys. Okay, but everybody's already stuck in the same pace. Not anymore. Oh, the roof's actually open this. I actually have to double check. Is the works V8 Pierce available in the dealer? If not, are we looking at a future summit car? Because if it is. Hey, mate, my little friends on the back seat have made the supreme sacrifice. I completely forgot to throw them back in the water. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Ivory Towers outdone oh, themselves. It's magnificent though. It's got everything off-roading addicts crave. Yo, that was narrow. That was an open bridge. I mean, just look at these caves. Aren't they just the dog's bollocks? The festival people are going to need a proper all-rounder to handle this brilliant path. Well, that's decided. I'm giving away my own trusty old defender for that race. It's a little banged up, but it's the most reliable machine there is and a great companion. Reliable is yes. I see on my map there's a passage up north. Looks like an easy downhill straight away. Perfect way to avoid a detour. Did you just say downhill? So you had me at downhill and I'm all like I never mind. I'm scared now. Oh, I take back what I said. Oh, I thought I was going to flip. Ow, stone. Like all the off-road tracks on this island lead to beaches. Well, I suppose that's what you'd expect on an island, and it's actually perfect for our next path. Whoop! No, no, no! Damn! Lost half my ruddy supplies in the river! But I still have the fish! You didn't die for nothing, lads! Okay, not gonna lie, that was a little humorous. But I got but I got cocked by Wilson! In Peacock Flats. No, Red Peacock, get out. Pierce had a few turbulent experiences. Well, trust me when I tell you that there is more to come. Well, you've already had your SSV experience in the first race. Is it me or is the weather even more better now than it was before? Now you're going to challenge yourself even more in the time attack with a maxi buggy. The Peugeot 3008 DKR. This vehicle is elevated like a tractor, but weighs about as much as a Ferrari Stradale. I don't see how you could not have fun with it. Oh, okay, finally we get some showcase of the rally of the rally cars. Which is actually kind of good and nice. Finally, this playlist is actually looking up. It's looking quite up. And the only way that's gonna ruin this playlist is if we're forced to use the prize car. Please don't. Right, next event with the 3008 DKR Maxi. And we're at least two points ahead on the lead. It's a time attack, so there's no one else but me. But it still still doesn't change the fact I have to get good. Pierce's log, entry three. My pursuit of the best trails has led me to the North Shore. Motorfest wants a crazy race with all the trimmings. Once again, I'm going to give them their money's worth. Okay, I have to stay close Rocky to land. Rocky beaches are a real challenge. There's no single right path. Adventurers have to use their instincts and find the optimal way to exploit the terrain. Is it explore the terrain or exploit the terrain? Because I'm doing the latter here. Oh Jesus, this is narrow. Now this looks like proper classic Jim Khan if ever you've seen one. I must admit I wouldn't mind a vehicle 
with softer suspension than my old Defender right now. So we're going around the, the crevices of the rocks, the Rockies. Not sure if good idea or bad idea, but it's working. Back on white sand. The terrain should get less rocky from now on. June's in sight. It's gonna be bumpy. I don't mind. Ow. Now I do mind. Now that's hairy ground if ever I saw it. At least it ain't some each a pair of itchy balls. A resort! Civilization! Don't mind me, friends. I'm just passing through. Enjoy your virgin pina coladas. Because I'm gonna say pina colada, gimme. Oh, I made a right mess of their garden. Ah, oh, they'll just send a bill to Motorfest. Oh, I could have done that without the jump to save so, myself some let's time. Talk vehicles. What can I recommend here? It's got to be an official rally rate survivor, a car with real guts, something French maybe. They do make some nice machines across the channel. Well, you picked the right one, that's for sure. How about the Peugeot 3008 DKR? Sturdy, V6 by turbo, dynamic. Pierce, you old devil, you've done it again. That's the perfect choice. No, stay away from the water. Wouldn't it be funny if that one turtle inflatable is actually rock solid? Speak of rock solid! There you go then! Everything's figured out! This trek is gonna leave you gobsmacked! It did! Which is a good thing! Oh nice, I'm first! How far am I? Never mind, they don't show it. Difficulty wise, it's not that difficult, but the terrain would challenge me. Which is a good thing, I keep saying. That was quite a sizzle reel you created, driver. You take to these wild runs like a duck to water. Speaking of which, I'm getting forecast updates as we speak, and it doesn't look good for the next event. Ow! Pretty much the same weather Pierce experienced as he was scouting that very part of the field. Pierce's colorful commentary will clue you in on what I mean. Oh, I don't need to take this route. I can just... I should be dead by that. We're getting close. Get ready for a little jeep ride through some particularly adventurous and wet terrain. Better wear your raincoat. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're in the unlimited Rubicon. Okay, good. It's still not the prize car. Okay, I thought it was a circuit. I'm safe. So I just have to build NOS. I'm looking for hidden waterfalls. Hopefully, they'll be like a small oasis for the Festival of Adventurers halfway through this intense championship. Why is it a championship, if I may ask? four-wheel drive underpinnings is a good option for this kind of terrain. Wait, it doesn't have a roof though. Then why recommend it if it doesn't have a... Never mind. According to my map, I need to go... Yes, that's it. Towards Wania Mountains. 
Nope, I'm skipping that. That's gonna ruin my run. Why are there a lot of excavators here? Why is the road suddenly getting narrow? The weather has taken a turn for the worse. It's like a blimmin' monsoon here. Can't see a bloody thing. I finally found these waterfalls. Got to say, I was expecting something bigger. Hey, you get now what you got. A series of curves on a downhill slope. It's a slippery ride, but my old defender is holding up well. Oh wait, right, he did this in his defender. Why? Why did I even question I it? Spoke too soon. I'm stuck. Come on, you old wreck. Show me what your V8 is made of. I had to throw some weight overboard, but I'm finally out of this mess. Hopefully the compact Rubicon should hold better in the same conditions. It actually got easier with the Rubicon. Oh, finally through! Gotta find a dry spot to make camp for the night. This rain is a real pain in the backside. I'm liking the track layouts though. They really have improved in this compared to the disaster that was... That was Drift Experience Volume 2. It's all over with the rain, but the fields are still wet. Just the right amount of mud for motorcycling fun. Oh no. Pierce has set up for an all KTM race. I'll let you find out for yourself why he made that choice. The bike itself is a good brand for bikes. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, I'll admit, this has the best dirt route, but again, I wish this was asphalt. The track is a real treat, wide and free of traps. You call this wide? Oh, I can climb through it. Oh, I did, I did make it. What do you know? My F1 is a hill climber. Why am I the only black bike? Why? Entry 5. My last supplies got stolen by some wild animal last night. I cannot believe this. On the bright side, the rain has eased off and the dirt roads are much more passable now. Oh, don't hit me to the rolling stones. I'm currently going down the hill. A nice fun ride in the morning with some fun and easy turns. I'll be reaching the wide expanse of Central pretty soon. I should get a whole different topology down there. Let's see how it looks. I was right. Wide open countryside tracks. Guaranteed fun. Reminds me of riding motocross in the West Barks fields as a young lad with my cousins. Great stuff! Well, this is what it's gonna be then. A nice open mud playground for some fellow bike lovers to ride to their heart's content. I'm surprisingly doing well in this, despite motocross being one of my not so good um now what kind of disciplines they give the adventurers
Oh god! I thought that was a ram! Remember a superb customized KTM in the garage of the festival PR. I didn't quite catch her name. Mula? Honestly, head like a sieve. Well, anyway, she had a hell of a bike. A 450 EXC. Probably the best power to weight ratio four stroke I've ever seen. I'm skipping the skipping the ramps and jumps for a reason. Could at least pass Chuck Norris. Malu? It's Malu. Malu, bloody hell! That's it. I got you. I don't know why that's sending me loopy. I've got to be careful. I haven't eaten in a while and Mother Nature might be starting to mess with my mind. Oh, bloody! I got chalked by Chuck Norris. Last minute, last second. This is not the last time you'll be handling bikes in this playlist. No. But right now, you're going for another rugged ride with another four-wheeled vehicle. Also, it's going to be a night one, so keep your eyes peeled. Oops! That was a player. <laughs> If that was a fellow content creator that I just banged into, I am sorry. We're almost there, driver. Commentary track on. And well, please keep in mind that what you hear in these audio tracks are authentic, spontaneous reactions of our specialist. Recorded in the heat of the moment and shared with you for a truly authentic experience. Sounds like he's either swearing or moaning in his seat if that's the case, Kara. TMI. Oh, now it's the Gladiator, the wider Jeep. The long Jeep. I swear, the more these logs come in, it really sounds like thi this is Pierce's last will and testament. I may have found a good spot for yet another ride, but not sure I have enough strength remaining to see this through. Oh my god, he is dying. Nope, no jump. Oh wait, maybe I should have jumped. Water. I'm in it up to my neck. Damn it. Wait, there's water. He could have at least survived this. Oh my god, I nearly drowned. These wooden structures seem solid enough, but I need to keep my eyes peeled. There could be cracks or holes anywhere, and my tension is failing. Come on, stay awake, Piezo boy. You're not out of the woods yet. Oh my god, it's two laps. Didn't I already climb that hill? Damn it. I think I'm going in circles. We literally are. That's it. I think hunger and exhaustion are getting to me. I'm starting to see things. I see goats in the sky, tall majestic creatures, they're like gladiators battling across the firmament, marvelous, we 
wait a second. What forsaken country am I in? I'm losing it. Did I just do a proper backflip? Pierce's log final entry. If anyone's listening, these are probably my last words. Oh my god, he did die! Might be about to embark on my last journey. It's okay. I've lived a full life, a beautiful adventure. Oh! A Turkish delight! I've just found a massive stash of sweets under the passenger seat. Oh right, Jesus Christ. I'm back and feeling more alive than ever. Must be this sugar rush. Let's finish this. All I need now is to come up with a car suggestion. Oh my god, I really wish Pierce died there. Weird visions I had back there. Gladiators in the skies. Silly me. Eureka! The Jeep Gladiator. That's the one. It was here all along. The Jeep as the fighter, the wilderness for its arena. Tell me, listeners, are you not entertained? I am more entertained by the fact that you nearly died. We got this tournament in the bag. What's really got me entertained here is Pierce's log. Well, that was interesting. Getting closer to the tail end of the playlist. I hope this has been inspiring so far, driver. I could have talked about Pierce's legacy if he ever did uh, reach the end of his life cycle. you get to ride bikes again, right? Well, here it is. You're in for another biker event. I wish I could redeem myself in this biker event. I don't want to hit no trailers anymore. Pierce has specified the KTM 450 yet again. He must be quite fond of that machine. Let's see if you will feel the same after this. Those are lots of near-death experiences. Oh no, it's a time thing. Oh no, it's this road again. Pierce's log, entry number seven. What a great night. See, that's what I like about these wild escapades. You never know what's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm ready happened? to move on. What the hell just happened? I just lost frame. I just lost a lot of frames. The of the mountains, and I think this is a route that calls for a bike. Let's see what happens if I keep following the ridge. I should be okay with this. I have a huge gap anyway. I reckon they should stick with the KTM 450 here. The Austrian queen of the Enduro Kingdom. With its original competition look this time. Those guys know a thing or two about uneven terrain. The KTM's Austrian? I can see the Motorfest grounds from here. What? Was that physics? I got magnetized to the ma to the goat. The hell just happened? Okay, this route is very familiar. Break before carrying on, and I happen to notice something a little peculiar. Bear prints all over the trail. Here, in the supposedly bear-free Hawaiian wilderness. Bloody mystery, but no time for that kind of monkey business. I've got an event to wrap up. Oh yeah, that section is definitely going to be part of the show. I'm all clean now, at least. Hell's bells! More bear tracks! That's starting to play on my mind, to be honest. The presence of a bear here is theoretically impossible, but... I don't know. 
Could be some mighty nature force at work here. Wait, is Pierce gonna As actually die? Said, life finds a way. Is he actually gonna die this time? Alright, Pierce, focus. Here comes a bit of a cliff. Oh wow, my suspension felt that one for sure. I feel sorry for Adriana's ass. Okay, that path is complete. Those bear tracks are still bothering me though, listeners. PSO boy, you better watch your back. You're raising a lot of your dead flags there, Pierce. Oh, wow. Really? First again? 24 Ks. There are only two events left, driver, with some big things still in store. The next event originally didn't get safety clearance when Pierce pitched it to Motorfest after his test run, but he got them to come around. He's a passionate man. We're talking about a volcanic race with a very hefty vehicle and some out of control sections. Stay safe. Here you are. Hope you enjoy the race as much as Pierce's feedback. Looks like, yet again, he got himself caught in quite a situation. I swear, if Kara starts crying, I'm, I'm gonna be scared for the fact that I just predicted Pierce's fate. The Hummer HX concept. Okay, so now I'm in an E vehicle. Against. Classic Humvees! Oh, it's not an E vehicle, it's just a concept vehicle. This is log entry eight. I'm sure of it now. I'm dealing with a bloody bear. According to the news flash I managed to get, the big furry thing escaped from the Honolulu Zoo. He's tracked me all the way to the volcano. That Paddington's after me. You smell delish, that's why. I'm gonna climb to the top. You want a piece of me, Teddy B? Come and get me up there. Wait, we are. Oh my god, this is sweet. My machine is in dire straits. Come on, buddy, don't let me down. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Climbing up the volcano in a. The beast in a Hummer. Is right behind me. He's managed to follow me up here. Damn it, he's pressuring me. <laughs> what I'm picturing is not a bear chasing him, but a bear in a car. Yeah, Im Im <laughs> Imagine a bear in the car chasing Pierce and his defender. To anybody listening, use a proper sturdy machine for this ride. Like a hammer, or maybe a bloody tank. What the hell? This animal's not giving up! Maybe some sharp zigs and zags will catch him off guard. That's a bad idea. Sharp left. That's a bad idea, you know. Right. That's it. I think I'm safe. Who's laughing now, bear boy? I think I just destroyed the competition. Bloody hell. I've been through some tough ones, but this. God damn, I can't believe it. He's back! And he's dead. Well, sounds like our good friend Pierce was in a tight spot back there. That's all you could say, Kara? Oh, wait, right, you're an AI. But anyway, back to business. This is your last chance for off road glory, and it's bound to be difficult. You'll have to keep control of a fast rally car through the narrowest parts of Hawaii. This is the final event of this Motorfest series, and it's a banger. Okay, finally, glory to the WRCs. The more I get used to Adriana's McLaren, the more I'm getting used to high-speed overtakes in the narrow mountain passes of Oahu. Not that I'm complaining, it's good skill training. 
and there goes all that skill training. You're here, the last part of Pierce's adventures. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but, well, I do have one question. Do all humans talk to bears? I don't know, check on your systems, Kara. I'm pretty sure the answer is right there. Oh my god, this is a good rally stage. This entire route, I swear, if the, the race ends in the asphalt, it's, it's proper rally. Like, finally, rally gets its spotlight in Motorfest. But hopefully, they have a... Woo! Nearly died. Hopefully, they have a playlist dedicated to rally cross, to rally cars. Or rally in general. It doesn't have to be just rally cross. Because there's also the, the car rally, which normally uses trucks and jeeps. And SUVs. Okay, now we're in the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro. One of the modern WRC cars. Is it a time attack? Oh no, it's a time attack. Okay, it's a time attack. Like proper rallying. Pierce's log, entry nine. Okay, he's alive. Another eventful night. That bear eventually caught up with me. Such a resilient opponent. You gotta respect that. But hey, you know what? He turned out to be quite the nice fella. Okay, it is proper rally. I like this. Once we got past the silliness, we really got on like a house on fire. We've got a lot in common, actually. Anyway, we chatted over a fish supper, then went our separate ways. Via con Dios, my runaway friend. Live free, I say. The big reveal pierces Hihachi all along. Motorfest having its proper rally stage at last. I started way up in the mountains, and I'm currently going wild on the descent. This will undoubtedly call for a fast yet versatile vehicle. It's fast, it's turn it's curvy, it's narrow. I like this. The first thing that comes to mind is the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro, a 600 HP four-wheel drive. A this car, car that goes like the blazes, but still thrives in the tightest of curves. This My is 600 word, horsepower. This is, spectacular. this is 600 horses. get to enjoy a final glimpse of that beautiful Hawaiian jungle. Gorgeous. Oh, 80% in. We're almost done. I swear, this is a, this has been good. That's it. Got all I need for volume two now. Time for a well-deserved break. Maybe I'll go to the cinema tonight. I hope I ride is still showing. Wow, what a bloody journey. We're through, listeners. Until our next adventure, Pierce out. Is this an Aztec temple? And wow, we, we guarded first. Top 500. Nice. Easy! Absolutely easy! And an old... And an old 
tournament fashion, we have to see the rankings. I would have said Saijima, but the glasses made me say Amo. Is that Kiryu? Okay, it's not. And of course, we're the star here. I swear, that NPC on the left, if you only focus at the back, I mistook him for Kiryu. <laughs> Alright, so my feedback as we go to the to the crate. Don't forget to grab your reward vehicle driver. This has been good. They redeemed themselves from the mess that is Drift Experience Volume 2. Well done, driver. That was a rough one. And no way we were able to use the prize car, which is proper. Finally, they did something right. No way, they did this before back in Vintage Garage. But as a modern based um, playlist, they learned their lesson. Even the most seasoned specialist wouldn't get out of this playlist unscathed. Yep, and that's an understatement. I believe Kara was referring to Pierce, who nearly died. died. Oh, nice! We did a barrel roll! And lived to tell the tale. Anyway, you managed to tame the wilderness once more, and that calls for a reward. You know the drill drive, container, get your prize. Almost there, actually. Just two kilometers left. Container right ahead. This time, we got you a special edition of the Jeep Wrangler. Your off-roading addiction just took a turn for the worse. How is it though? It just gave me PTSD of Forza Horizon 4 and 5. And it's not exactly the same Rubicon Wrangler, but it's still a Wrangler nonetheless. Okay, time to see it showcase. This is a better looking prize car, actually. Right? And let's double check on what we got for challenges. And then we shall end this on a high note. New challenges unlocked. Alright, so we get the head mount, the exclusive outfit, 3000 cc's. Motocross and rally performance parts, probably one of each. And the Trailblazer legendary title. Alright, not too bad. Right, probably on the low end when it comes to the challenges. But at least the quality of the, ra of the event, better. Safe to say when it comes to a volume 2. Let's complete this playlist. When it comes to a volume 2. Motorfest has redeemed itself from the clutches which was 
Drift Experience Volume 2. This is kind of okay. This is kind of nice. Did they weld that side door shut? No, no, wait, never mind. They didn't. There's the gap right there. So it's kind of close. You know what? Let's just go back to the shop and just do a proper comparison. So this is what we got. And this is what it's based off. I would say, other than the unique ball bars and the wheels, and the additional... No, wait, there's that's the same side mountings. What am I saying? Yeah, because I know there is an existing a Wrangler that is similar to this, but it is strictly two-door. I think the closer one to this is this baby pioneer. I could be wrong. Wait, this is street? And this is proper rally raid. It's unique in its own way. It has the off-road addict flags, which is a cool touch. The color is all right as well for for me. Again, it really does remind me of an existing uh, Wrangler Sport that is similar. I don't think it's a Rubicon. I could be wrong. For those who are regulars in Forza Horizon, let me know what car I am talking about. I just totally forgot. But okay, in terms of backlogs, we are back to no backlogs for the Crew Motor Fest. Which is a good thing, because I won't be showcasing this for a while until the next big update, which is made in Japan Volume 2. And of course, the ex expanded island. This one has been okay. Like I said, Rally Cross, Rally, ra rally Race Cars finally get the spotlight as the finale, and it's a good send off to this playlist. As things should be. And I'm glad that they went this direction. So if we're going to rank this one, I would say it's on the above high average. The layouts were good. Not much on the competition. It wasn't as hard as back then. Though there were some last minute overtakes that kind of humbled me. But again, that's not a bad thing. I kind of like it, the fact that I get humbled by the AI. But okay. All things considered, this has been really good. I'm looking forward to the next update. How about you guys? Do you think of it the same way? Hey, Adriana's agreeing with me on the seat. <laughs> but yeah. So, thanks for watching on this um, showcase of the latest playlist of the Crew Motor Fest. And I will see you guys in the next video update.